Thankfully, it came preloaded with a program to help solve personal problems. Hello, I am Eliza. My parents are fighting a lot. I see. Can you elaborate on that? Eliza is an early natural language processing computer program developed from 1964 to 1967 at MIT by Joseph Weizenbaum. Created to explore communication between humans and machines, Eliza simulated conversation by using a pattern matching and substitution methodology that gave users an illusion of understanding on the part of the program. Different scripts could be plugged into Eliza to represent different characters. The first of these to be developed by Weizenbaum, as well as the one that generated the transcript above and the one that everyone remembers today, was called simply Docker. Created to explore communication between humans and machines, Eliza simulated conversation by using a pattern matching and substitution methodology that gave users an illusion of understanding on the part of the program. Weizenbaum named his program Eliza after Eliza Doolittle, a working-class character in George Bernard Shaw's who learns to speak in an upper-class diction despite her origins. The metaphor, then, is that the computer has traded in the inflexible diction of a programming language for everyday natural language. Yeah, but what shall I talk with the computer about? <laughs> yeah, uh... <laughs> yes, well, that's a very difficult question, putting knowledge into a computer. And this question has not been fully answered yet, and it will never be fully answered. Okay. The, the question I had in mind, what's the most important paper that was written in the last 50 years in the AI literature? And, and, and my answer is it must have been it must be Tour McDermott's paper, and the title of the paper is Where Artificial Intelligence Meets Natural Stupidity. Eliza is a computer program that anyone can converse with via the keyboard, and it'll reply on the screen. We've added human speech to make the conversation more clear. Men are all alike. In what way? They're always bugging us about something or other. Can you think of a specific example? Well, my boyfriend made me come here. Your boyfriend made you come here? He says um, I'm depressed much of the time. I'm sorry to hear that you're depressed. It's true. I am unhappy. Do you think coming here will help you not to be unhappy? The computer's replies seem very understanding, but this program is merely triggered by certain phrases to come out with stock responses. 